Today I'm going to be tying a pheasant tail wet fly. The thread that we'll use to tie it is uni, it's 8-0 and this is a camel, which is nearly a brown. We're pulling our thread at the eye. And you want to put down a good layer of thread and we'll stop when the thread gets sits in line with the barb. Remove your waist piece. Now, tie in the pheasant tail. This is just a natural pheasant. You want a dozen fibres or so. And the tail length is the length of the hook. Two good tight wraps at the back. Then fold it back. Come and make a good couple. Just in front of that there. Now just reach behind. Got some olive wire here. And this is the ultra wire. It's obviously small, by UTC. Just put that onto the side of the hook. Run your thread up and stop when you're about an eye width and a half away from the eye itself. Now, start to wind your pheasant tail around. You'll notice I'm winding this the way I would wind every other material. Cross that over at the tie off point. Good couple of wraps to tie that off there. As I said, I've winding that the way I would wind every other material, therefore the rib. I'm going to do what I call counter ribbing, so I'm going under the hook first. That means that you can catch in the fibres as they cross each other. Tie that in, nice and tight, then bend and break away the wire. I must apologise, I've got a, a tickly throat, so. can sound quite hoarse. Now, for the hackle, I've just got a hen hackle here in red game. Hen hackles and wet flies, I think, are a lot better because the, the hackle just seems to flow with the fly. Of course, the hen, hen hackles traditionally are a lot softer than say your cock hackles. Now just set that on, you know, some tying it in by the point. That right down to the eye. Pull everything back. Decent wraps in there. Let's just pull it off, that's fine. Now back down to the head. Fold the hackle fibres back on themselves, like so. Very easy to do. Then just start to wind round. One turn in front of the other. Now we've got enough on here. Come up with your thread. Good 90 degree bend in. Couple of turns, fold it back. Some varnish or super glue in this case. Onto your thread. Two or so turns, then come in with your whip finish. One, two, three. Nice and tight. Draw away the waste piece. And that is a nice wee wet fly that was 
it's been working for us on the river. Two e five will see that I'll just really short the tail so take them away. That's been working for us in the river the past couple of days when the, it's been a bit bright for the dry. Uh, obviously I would say at this time of year, go for the dry fly when you're in the river. I find they're just a lot better fun. It's a lot more delicate as well than presenting wet flies down and across. Now with this one you can twitch it back, which is what we've been doing. And we've been getting them quite nearly every cast in some pools. Uh, just small wee twitches of the line as it's going down cast, down and across and just let the, wing, the water swing it through and just do wee tiny twitches with, with your line and that seems to bring them in really well. Alternatively what you can do just behind, behind the hackle is put a wee bit of, wee bit of dubbing say so olive or so this is the one I use, it's the SLF dubbing and I just put that in behind it, but obviously that is the simplest version and that's the one we've been fishing and that's the one that's been working the best for us. So that is a very simple pheasant tail wet fly. Mm.